Okay, that's all good and dandy, but what if the rest of the team uses some other editor and they don't have a Prettier plugin installed? How can I make sure everyone formats using Prettier? So Prettier doesn't show you or help you fix errors. Prettier is a code formatter. You might say, hey, but um, my editor, VS Code, PHP Storm, whatever, formats just well. Why do I need this Prettier thing? Well, Prettier is not just for you. Prettier is the code formatter for teams. Everyone has their own code formatting style. Some people prefer two spaces versus four spaces, some are okay having long lines of code, while others like to keep things tidy. Other people end their JavaScript statements with a semicolon, maniacs that want to see the world burn don't, and so on. Prettier settles all those disputes and makes sure every team member formats their code following the same rules. So in this video we'll see how we can add Prettier to a project, how we can configure it, and I'll share my favorite rules, and finally how we can enforce Prettier so everyone working on the project follows the same formatting style. To set up Prettier, open your terminal, make sure you're in the project directory, and type in npm install Prettier dash dash save dev to install it as a dev dependency and then dash dash save exact. It is very important to add dash dash save exact. This instructs npm to not leave any room for automatic updates that may mess up with the formatting style. Once Prettier is installed, we can run it by typing in Prettier dash dash write and then a dot to format all the files or a specific path to format a single file. So I'll do src and then app.view. And here it is, Prettier successfully formatted our app component file. Now having to run this command every time we need to format something would be annoying and time consuming. Luckily, most editors and IDEs have Prettier plugins we can install. So let's install one for PHP Storm, which is the editor I'm using now. I'll open my preferences panel, go to plugins, marketplace, Type in Prettier, hit install, apply, and then go under languages and frameworks, JavaScript, Prettier, and make sure we provide the path to the Prettier package, which will be the project directory slash node modules slash Prettier. And then we need to specify a pattern that matches the files Prettier will be formatting. And we have an example here. and we want to format JavaScript files, view files, HTML, and CSS. Then we can choose to run Prettier when we press the Format key shortcut and on Save. I'll hit Apply and then OK. Now let's mess up the formatting a bit. Hit Save and there we go. Prettier automatically reformatted our file. Now, Prettier comes with some good default rules in terms of how it formats things, but sometimes we want to set our own rules. To do that, go to the root of your project and create a new file called prettier.config.js. Here, we just need to export an object that will hold the configuration values we want to change. I'll paste in my favorite rules and then go through them one by one. The first one instructs Prettier to avoid parents for arrow functions when possible. For example, if I go to my listbox component, scroll down, here we have an arrow function. If I add parents and then save, Prettier will remove them. The second one, semi true, makes sure that every JavaScript statement ends with a semicolon. For example, if I remove these and then hit save, Prettier will put them back in. Then we have tab with two, and this makes sure our tab has only two spaces. Then we have view indent script and style. And if I set this to true, what it will do is it will add an indentation here. So if I reformat, here's our two space indentation. And I don't want that, so I'll set this to false, format again, and here we go. Next up, we have bracket spacing false. And what this does is it removes the spacing that would be here. So if I set that to true, go back here and hit format, it will add the space here and here. And I don't want that. Then we have bracket same line and single attribute per line. And I love these two, because what they allowed me to do is be faster. So for example, if I go here 
And I don't want my code to look something like this, where we have many attributes per line. And then if I want to remove one, I need to go and select it and then hit delete. What I want to do is have them one by one in their own line. Then I can just go ahead and remove the entire row. Finally, we have trailing comma set to ES5. And what this will do is it will add a trailing comma whenever it's possible. For example, here, if I remove this comma, hit save, Prettier will add it back in. Okay, that's all good and dandy, but what if the rest of the team uses some other editor and they don't have a Prettier plugin installed? How can I make sure everyone formats using Prettier? Well, there are more than a few ways to do it, but the easiest way is by using Husky and LinStaged. Husky makes it easy to create git hooks, while LinStaged allows us to run Prettier only on staged files, so files that are about to be committed to our git repository. So let's install both of them using npm. I'll do npm install husky lint staged and then dash dash save dev. Then to enable git hooks, we'll run npx husky install. To make sure husky is installed whenever someone sets up the project, we also need to run this command. So npm set script prepare husky install. And finally, we'll use husky to add the pre commit hook to run lint staged. Now, before we go ahead and test things out, we also need to make sure we run the prettier command whenever lean stage runs. So we'll go here and scroll down, and we need to add the following to our package.json file. So let's grab this, open the package.json file, scroll down, paste it in, and what this does is it will run prettier on all the stage files and just ignore the ones it doesn't know how to format. But if you remember, we already have a pattern that matches the files we want to format. If I open my preferences panel again, here we have the pattern we defined earlier. So I'll grab this, go here and replace this, and then remove ignore unknown. Okay, let's test this out. Let's pretend some other team member uses Sublime Text. They don't have any prettier plugin installed or anything. They just set up the project, work on the app view component, let's say BG Red 300. They do a great job, but they kind of mess up the formatting here. Now they go to the terminal and add the file to stage. So I'll do git add and then commit it using git commit am. I messed up the formatting, but prettier will save me. Hit enter. And now, if I go in the file, we'll see that Prettier formatted this file before committing it to our Git repository. And this is how we can enforce Prettier and make sure everyone working on the project uses the same formatting rules. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye!